Hey guys, what is up? Rubik's Life here, and welcome back to the final part of my How to Solve the Rubik's Cube series. Today, we're learning how to solve the final third layer the easiest way possible. So, let's get started. Alright, so first, what you're going to want to do is make sure you have your first two layers solved. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out my first two videos, uh, links in the description down below. So once you have your first two layers, we can go on and start working on the last layer. So the first step in solving the last layer is the yellow cross. And it's the same thing as the white cross, except we're solving it on the yellow side. Now the way to do the yellow cross is you only have to learn one algorithm, and I'll put it up on the screen. So there are four cases you can have when starting your yellow cross. The first case is just the dot case, which is where there's just the yellow center, and there's no yellow facing up on the cross. The second one is the one we have now, which is the L or the hook case, where there's only two in the shape of an L. The third case is called the bar, where it's just a straight line of yellow across, and the fourth case is the, white, the yellow cross is already solved. So in this case, I have the I have the hook case or the L case, and if you have the bar case or the dot case, you do the exact same algorithm for all of them, um, but you just have to hold them differently. So if you have the L case, you're going to want to turn the top layer until the L is in the bottom right side, so like this. And if you have the bar, you want to hold it so the bar is horizontal, and if you have a dot, it doesn't matter which way you hold it. And you're going to want to do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now, if you, have, if you had the dot case and just did that algorithm, you should have the L case. And then just put it in the bottom right and do it again. And you'll be at the bar. Once you have the bar, you're going to want to turn the top layer so the bar is facing horizontal. And do that same algorithm again. F. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that'll give you the yellow cross. You can ignore these two corners because these don't matter at the moment, but that's how you do that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time how to get the yellow cross um, from the dot case, just in case you're confused on that. So all you have to do is do that same algorithm, doesn't matter what side, because there's no yellow on the cross section. So F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and that'll give you the L or hook case. And you want to make sure it's in the bottom right corner and do the same algorithm again. So F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and it'll give you the bar. And then you want to turn so the bar is facing sideways. Do the same algorithm again F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that'll give you the yellow cross. So once you have your yellow cross, the next step is making sure all the side colors are correct. So like how this orange is correct, this blue is matching with the blue, so that's correct. But the green doesn't match, and the red doesn't match. So that's the next step, is, make, is completely solving the yellow cross and solving all the side colors. Now when you're solving the cross, there's always two pieces that'll be correct when you turn it. So in this case, you have an orange and a blue that are correct, and sometimes they're opposite of each other. So like we would have a blue and a green correct, or something like that. So once you've found two pieces that are correct, you want to put them in the far back left corner. So you have your two unsolved pieces in the front, and I have my solved piece on the left, and my solved piece in the back, you're going to want to do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And I know it looks up messed up now, but it's actually solved. All you have to do is just do a quick little turn, either this way or this way, and that'll match up the entire yellow cross. All right, so here's the second case. We have red solved, and orange solved, so they're opposite of each other. And then these two are not solved. And all you have to do is hold it so they're on the left and the right side and do that same algorithm. So R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And then what you're gonna do is just kind of flip it around until you can find 
the two pieces that match. So here we go. Now we have the blue and the orange matching, and these two don't. So hold your solve side in the, on the left and on the back, and do that same algorithm. R U two R prime U prime R U prime R prime, and then just flick it one more time, and that'll solve the entire side of the yellow cross. All right. So now the next part is getting the corners in the right places. They don't have to have yellow on the top yet. They just need to be the right corner in the right spot. Like for example, this one can be in the right spot whether it's twisted this way, this way, or this way because it's the yellow, orange, and blue piece on the yellow, orange, and blue side. So like if this piece were green, orange, and yellow and it were sideways, it would still be fine but it's not because it's blue, red, and yellow that needs to be over here. So if you don't have any corner solved, you can just hold it however you want and do this algorithm. But I have one piece solved, and I'm going to hold it in the bottom right hand corner, so right here. And I'm going to do this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. What this algorithm does is it rotates your corners until all of them are solved. And in that case, it did because we have this one is correct, this one's still correct, this one is correct because it's the orange, green, and yellow on the orange, green, and yellow side, and then this one's correct because it's blue, red, and yellow, and it's on the blue, red, and yellow side. So now all these are correct, and you only have to do one more algorithm, and it's super, super easy. It's like four moves, and then you'll have the entire Rubik's Cube solved. So the last step is getting, of course, the yellow on the top, so these corners will be twisted correctly like this. Um, so what you're going to want to do is hold, turn the cube sideways, so the yellow is on the left side and the white is on the right side. And you're going to want to put your not solved corner, so this one, on the top left face, so it's looking right at you, in the top left. It doesn't matter if it's facing like this or like this. Just make sure it's in the top left that you can see. So the algorithm is only four moves long. It's R prime, U prime, R, U. And in this case, it doesn't fully solve it yet because it's not in the top and it's not completely solved. So you gotta do it one more time. So do R prime, U prime, R, U. And don't worry about all this stuff down here because it'll, it'll fix itself after you solve this last corner. But as you can see, after you did that algorithm twice, it has solved this piece. And now all you have to do is just turn the yellow side until your next unsolved piece is in the top left. And do R prime, U prime, R, U. R prime, U prime, R, U. And it's not solved yet, you have to rotate it one more time. So go R prime, U prime, R, U. R prime, U prime, R, U. And that'll solve all your corners, and then just finish it off with two U moves, and that'll solve the entire Rubik's Cube. Alright guys, so I'm going to do one more example of the corner section. So I have my entire yellow cross and all the sides solved, and now I'm going to put all my corners in the right spot, and then I'm going to flip them until all the yellow is on the top. So I'm going to look for a piece that's in place, so this one's not right, whoops, this one's not right, this one's correct, and this one's not correct. This one's correct because it's blue, red, and yellow on the blue, red, and yellow. So hold it in the bottom right corner, alright, and then do that algorithm for moving these corners, which is U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And it didn't solve them all the way. They have to rotate one more time. So do that algorithm one, one more time. And they'd be U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. So as you guys can see now, all the colors are matching. Because the green, red, yellow, green, red, yellow. The blue, red, yellow is on that side. Orange, blue, yellow matches. And the orange, green, yellow matches. So now all you have to do is make all the yellows on the top. So turn the yellow to be on the left side, the white on the right side. 
and do your algorithm to flip them around. So do R prime, U prime, R, U. R prime, U prime, R, U. It didn't flip it all the way around yet, so do it one more time. R prime, U prime, R prime, U. R prime, U prime, R prime, U. So there's our one corner, so now we can do turn the yellow side to make our next corner to be flipped in the top left and go r prime u prime r prime u r prime u prime r prime u that'll solve that one now we have another one right here put that in the top left do the algorithm r prime u prime r prime u r prime u prime r prime u and that will solve that one and we only have one more to go put that in the top left corner r prime u prime r prime u r prime u prime r prime u it needs to be flipped one more time. R prime, U prime, R prime, U. R prime, U prime, R prime, U. And then just finish it off by turning, just matching up these colors. And there you go. You have the entire Rubik's Cube solved. So thank you guys so much for watching this entire series on how to solve the 3x3. If you guys want me to go back and make a more in-depth video on a certain section, please let me know in the comments section below. And I'll be very happy to help you guys on that. This series has done so well. The first part is over like 12,000 views, which is like my top video, which is crazy. So thank you guys all so much for watching that and going on this journey on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. So hopefully you guys can have solved your Rubik's Cube now. You can go brag to your friends, show them my video so they can solve their Rubik's Cubes. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.